Antarctica is one of the world's seven continents. It is the fifth largest, being bigger than the whole of Europe and nearly twice the size of Australia. On average, Antarctica is the windiest of all the continents. Because its landscape is flat over very large distances, winds can reach speeds of up to 320 km km h. On other continents, winds only reach these speeds during storms, cyclones, hurricanes, tornadoes, etc. Antarctica is the driest continent on the planet and is officially classified as a desert. The cold temperatures and strong winds result in very low humidity, which makes it difficult for clouds to form. Along the coastline, especially on the Antarctic Peninsula, rain is possible, but it is still rare. Although it is a desert, Antarctica contains 70% of the Earth's fresh water. However, it is mostly bound up in the enormous ice sheet so you won't be drinking out of too many running streams there. Home of the South Poles The current locations of both the geographic South Pole, where the Earth's surface intersects the Earth's axis of rotation, and the magnetic South Pole, where the direction of the Earth's magnetic field is vertically upwards, lie within Antarctica. However, this has not always been the case. Millions of years ago, Antarctica used to be closer to the equator, but has now moved to its position at the bottom of the planet due to tectonic motion. If you are standing at the magnetic south pole, then everywhere is north of you. The magnetic south magnetic pole currently lies almost 3,000 kilometers from the geographic south pole and moves at the rate of about 5 km a year. Antarctica is positioned asymmetrically around the south pole. This means that the South Pole is not always located the same distance from the coastline. The most remote place in Antarctica, the one furthest from all coastlines, is called the South Pole of Inaccessibility and lies about 900 kilometers from the geographic South Pole. Antarctica is the largest ice sheet in the world. More than 98% of Antarctica is covered with ice. This makes it the largest ice sheet in the world, with Greenland coming in second. It is estimated that Antarctica contains around 90% of the world's ice, and if it all melted, the original behemoth remained. Home to the southernmost active volcano, Mount Erebus, is one of the Earth's few constantly active volcanoes. It continuously releases gas and has had several eruption episodes over the years, resulting in lava flowing down its slopes and ejected molten rock. It is the site of the Earth's only long-lived lava lakes, and is Antarctica's second highest mountain. Antarctica has high mountains. Antarctica's highest mountain, Mount Vinson, stands 4,987 meters tall. This is just over half the height of Mount Everest. It is named for Carl Vinson, a U.S. congressman who keenly supported Antarctic expeditions and was submitted for the first time in 1966 by a team led by American Nicholas Clinch. The Gambertsev Mountains, also referred to as the Ghost Mountains, stretch for 1,200 km across Antarctica and reach heights of more than 3,000 meters. However, you can't see them because the thickness of the ice in those regions is more than 4,000 mon. They are completely buried by snow and ice. The Transantarctic Mountains run for more than 3,500 km, making them one of the longest mountain ranges on the planet. They essentially run from the Weddell Sea to the Ross Sea and divide Antarctica into East and West, with East Antarctica making up two-three of the continent. Their summits are generally ice-free and they are the location of most of Antarctica's dry valleys. There are several rift systems in Antarctica, both in the East and the West. The West Antarctic Rift System spans an enormous area. It is 3,000 km long and 700 km wide and contains the Ferrigno Rift, a 1.6 km deep canyon that is almost as deep as the Grand Canyon. Scientists think that this canyon is causing this part of Antarctica to lose ice more rapidly than expected. Discovered under the Antarctic Ice Sheet Geothermal heat from the Earth's interior and insulation from above by the thick layers of ice ensures that they remain liquid. The freshwater Lake Vostok is the largest of these. Buried under about 4 kilometers of ice, it is a subglacial lake, meaning it is encased by the ice of a glacier, not rock or earth. 
part of the remote Taylor Glacier in East Antarctica, the disturbing red color of Blood Falls was a mystery for more than 100 years. Then, in 2017, scientists discovered that the water, which originates from a subglacial lake, is high in salt and oxidized iron. When the water comes into contact with air, the iron rusts, giving it its amazing red color. It has the saltiest lake on Earth. At the base of the Transantarctic Mountains, the Don Juan Pond is the saltiest body of water on Earth. Its salt concentration is 40% compared with 30% for the Dead Sea and 3.5% for normal seawater. The salt is actually calcium chloride, which lowers the freezing point of water even more than sodium chloride, which is what you use for table salt. This and the high salinity of the lake means it stays liquid even in the frigid temperatures of Antarctica. It is surrounded by a permanent current. The circumpolar current is the world's largest wind-driven current. It circles clockwise around Antarctica, from west to east, and helps to keep the continent cold by blocking the warmer water from more temperate oceans. It is very rich in nutrients, which is why there is a lot of marine life near Antarctica. It helps that the dark meteorites stand out against the pristine white snow and ice of Antarctica. But the cold, dry atmosphere also helps to preserve them against the usual weathering processes. There are no polar bears in Antarctica. Polar bears are only found in the Arctic, not the Antarctic. While there may not be any polar bears or sled dogs, Antarctica is one of the best places in the world to see penguins.